Good morning, my friends. Good morning, good morning. It's me, on the run, again, except we're not going to Miami this time, unfortunately. Um, we're gonna go get uh, vegetal. <laughs> so you guys know I got my coochie waxed last week. Actually, I don't think I talked about it on YouTube, but I did go get a Brazilian last week before I went to Miami. Uh, and I was... And I was supposed to do a a vajayshal with it, but we did my eyebrows. Oh, let me let me get the toll going. Oh, it's 30 minutes both ways. Really? I'm not saving any time by taking the toll? So why would I take the toll and pay when it's the same thing? What the fuck is the point of the toll if the no toll is the same price or the same, you know what I mean? Like the same fucking distance. Hello? No, I'm not gonna pay the toll. Okay. Kiss it, hold on. I know where I'm going for the most part. But yeah, okay, so I was supposed to go get a vajayshal with my Brazilian last week, but we did my eyebrow lamination as well. And we ran out of time. So we rescheduled it for today. I'm gonna go get that done. And then I have to do the rest of my cardio because I did 15 minutes this morning on the stairs knowing that I have to do 30, but I prioritize eating my breakfast over doing all my cardio. So I have to finish my cardio and then I have to go on a walk at some point. It's really gloomy and like gross out today. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, we're still on like a little mini cut situation. I'm still doing an hour of cardio, an hour of cardio total per day. I do want to start like running, like jogging. Go do this vajayshal, come back, let you guys know how that went. It's my first time doing it. If, if you don't know what a vajayshal is, it's literally gonna be like a facial for my coochie, allegedly. We're doing like a brightening situation. Uh, last week, if I would have done it, we wouldn't have been able to do like the brightening situation because I was like freshly waxed. So you do need like some time in between to do the brightening one, but I would have done like a hydrating one or something last week. But since we're waiting the week now, it's already literally been a week, which is crazy how quickly time fucking flies. But it's been really dirty in Houston. Like, look at this. Like, there's like pollen. Like, I just got all this gunk on my windshield that I just had to clean off. But yeah, I'm gonna go because I'm about to get on the highway. So I'll talk to you guys probably after the appointment. Yeah, after the appointment. I'm not taking you to watch me get a vegetal done. <laughs> Hi friends! Good morning, good early afternoon. It's 12.40 on Friday, March 1st. Happy March! We are in the Alpha Land parking lot. I brought my camera because I'm going to do like a mic'd up situation. I'm trying to figure out what content is like consistent for me. Content that consistently performs well, that the people enjoy, that I enjoy making. I need to find what content that is. I don't know if it's like a mic'd up or like voiceovers or what, because I feel like I kind of just record a little bit of everything and anything. And I don't really have anything that I got like, posting very repeatedly. Repeatedly? Repeatedly. But I do want to find things that like I'm good at that hit consistently and that I enjoy because... What? I'm like texting one of my clients right now. I don't know what's going on. We're having a bit of a hard time with our deadlifts right now. She's having issues with her sumo, and I said we might try conventional for the rest of this block, and then she proceeds to send me a video of her doing conventional. Okay, I guess we're making this switch to conventional, but yeah, okay, I don't know what the fuck I was saying. It sounds like they're playing Spanish music in gym too, so that's good, that's a good sign. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, flip this to vertical mode, we're gonna do a little mic'd up situation. Oh, I was talking about the content, right? So I wanna find content that repeatedly performs well that I enjoy making because people seeing the same thing from a creator over and over, like, actually builds more of a relationship of the audience to the creator versus, um the creator posting like different things so i need to find content that i can continue throwing at my audience that like they associate with me so i think i want to make it the mic'd up like the spanish situation like i want to be like a puerto rican like spanish speaking creator for my people so i think i'm gonna lean into that some more and yeah so let's get this workout going i'll see y'all in vertical mode <laughs> 
Vamos a hacer un día de glutes y el cardio. Esto es el beam pre-workout. Usa el código Adri para el beam pre-workout y también para el Helimix. So. Happy Friday night. I'm cooking. I'm making sausage and peppers and pasta and a homemade Caesar dressing for a Caesar salad. I'll see what I end up showing you. I bought some like little snacks too. I bought this bottle of wine. Slay. Oh, here comes Neptune. Here's my sausage, which I'm gonna start browning right now, actually. Okay, so I got this turkey sausage because turkey sausage, I was looking for chicken sausage, but turkey sausage was the only thing I found that wasn't pork sausage. Because pork sausage has an insane amount of fat in it. And unfortunately, I am aware of the existence of macros and I do be looking at the nutrition label for everything that I purchase. So, Tunis in here watching me. This is just Greek yogurt that I needed. All right, so we're gonna start browning this sausage. I got croutons for the salad, lemons and anchovies for the dressing. This is for Joel. I got this little charcuterie board to snack on. Cheese, romaine for the salad, of course. Some olive oil. And I got the this assortment of olives, some tomato paste, and a marinara sauce. Marinara sauce. Okay. Like I said, let's start browning these sausages. Hi besties, good morning. Oh. Happy Saturday. We are here. We're going to Iron Sight today. We're taking my car. Well, I have a toll pass. I have purchased a toll pass. Um, so I will get us there quick. I think I need gas though. I do think I need to go get gas before we get on the highway. Joel is being Santa Claus today at Iron Sight, giving away uh, like three bags of clothing. I will do so, I will do something like that eventually. I have shoes I could give away. I definitely have shit in my closet as well. So if you guys are interested in meeting up at Alpha Land, Alpha Land is probably where I'd do it. We'd have to see. We will have to see how that works. But yeah, so that's our plan for today. I think we're gonna get food after too. Which is exciting. <laughs> but yeah, that's the vibe today. I'm gonna hit a quad workout today. So I do quads on Saturday now. Just some chill shit, probably do some hack squat, leg extensions, and leg curls. That's literally all I do for quads at this point. Some sissy squats or some shit. But, yeah. Uh, so yeah, enjoy man. it, bro. Enjoy this it. like, so much love. <laughs> I got you, so bro. Love, no, bro. Trust, I got you, bro. And as a coach, you. as a yeah, coach. Yeah, I always do it, best bro. Coach, best coach. Love. I love you, bro. Slide yeah. down. Y'all heard it, bro. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Yeah. Well, we just went to the gym. Might get busy on squat and deadlift. <laughs> This looks a little crazy, but we're here. We're getting food. We're at, maybe I'll tell you guys where we are. We got pan fried dumplings. Pan fried dumplings, we're at a Chinese spot, a Chinese noodle place. We, get, we got pan fried dumplings. We have noodles, like some beef noodles coming. And then I just went up and I ordered uh, pork buns, like pork like bao bun situations. Yeah, cause I love that. We're really hungry. This is normally a lot of food. I literally don't know where Joel went. Disappeared. 
But um, yeah, got a lot of food. My workout was pretty decent. Got a good quad day. You guys, I posted some pictures on Instagram. Like, I was kind of feeling myself. <laughs> it's had. We got some lines popping out. But, yeah. I have a reel to post. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, he's getting the spoon. Thank you. <laughs> we got our bow buns. Those are so cute. <gasps> We're just waiting for the noodles now. Oh. Oh. This is sexy man. Oh. Oh. It looks good, isn't it? Napkins. Are they napkins? Oh. 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 We're so in love. My hands smell like alcohol. Like hand sanitizer and alcohol. It kind of smells like. Kind of smells like a. Like a flavored vodka. Kind of made me gag a little bit, if I'm being honest. Oh. My baby, my baby daddy's back. Don't say that. <laughs> my baby daddy. What? No. The lady who brought my food, I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, my friends are dead. Stop, stop singing now. Sorry, it's not as nice as 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 it's not as nice
yeah, that's that. Can I say this was freeze dried beef liver. This is also new. There's little pieces of beef liver. I'm gonna let them finish the freeze dried green muscle that's on the floor. And then the salmon bites. I think I got these in like a duo, like a combo pack for like 14 bucks, something like that, which is pretty good. And these are good for like their teeth to chew on. You know how people say that cats and dogs need to eat dry food because it cleans their teeth when they bite it? That's some horse shit. <laughs> they don't always chew up like the little pellets of dry food that they give them. Like Pluto used to throw up right after he ate a lot of times. And when he would throw up his undigested food, the food would come up still in like the little round pellets that he like inhaled them like as. So that means that he's not chewing his food, which means that it's not actually cleaning his teeth like how some people think that dry food does. But something like this, that's a little bigger, is going to force him, Pluto, is going to force him to chew it. Let's see, Pluto, look, Pluto, look Pluto, right here. He likes to eat it on the floor. But yeah, something like that will force him to chew it and that will actually help him clean his teeth. So that's that. And then like I said, this is some kitten food for Neptune just because you want to feed your cats in a rotation of foods. So right now, uh, Pluto's main food is Fancy Feast Classic Pate. Um, and Neptune's been eating some of that as well and I'm working to transition them to Viva Raw raw proteins, uh, which I have a code for, by the way, code Adri saves you some money if you want to try out some Viva Raw products for your dogs and cats. So that's that. I don't think I've talked to you guys about the whole situation that I've had with feeding my cats, um, but basically for like a couple months now I've been working to feed them a more high protein, high moisture diet because if you guys remember over a year ago Pluto got sick. He had a blocked urinary tract formed by like, just basically like little crystals and shit like blocked off his urinary tract and fucked him up. And that was just like the worst, ah! the worst like three days of my life was when that happened. So since then he's been eating this prescription grade, this prescription, prescription bullshit by the way, grade, dry food that the vet told me to feed him for the rest of his life. And they're like, yeah, this dry food is going to help him prevent any other like urinary issues, but it's contradictory because dry food is one of the things that probably caused him to get sick and blocked up in the first place. Because when you feed these cats, this ultra processed like dry food that has no moisture, when cats are the type of animal that take in most of their moisture from the food that they eat. And if you feed them just dry food, that means that they're not inherently getting a lot of moisture in their diet. If they don't get a lot of moisture in their diet, what happens? Their urinary tract gets blocked off and then you have to spend $2,000 and three nights at the animal hospital to for them to hopefully fix your pet. Please, in any way that you can, feed your cats a better moisture rich diet or like high moisture diet, which would consist of cans of wet food as often as you can. Like it, I know it's a little more expensive than just a dry, a, like a bag of dry food, but if you can do two cans a week and add some extra water to those cans of food or like adding water to the kibble, whatever you can do, those little steps will help them in the long run. So right now the cats are only eating wet and raw food and in the morning they eat freeze dried or like air dried straight protein. Like it's not necessarily like a um, processed dry kibble. What it is, it's literally air dried like beef and chicken. So it's pretty pricey, it's a little expensive, but I feed them that with some water in the bowl to like rehydrate it. And again, add some moisture, some water to it. And then for lunch and for dinner, I feed them the wet slash raw food. This is why my YouTube videos have been getting so long is because I spend 10 minutes talking and I'm not even done unboxing everything yet. Next, oh, excuse me. The cats are just on the counter. This is so chaotic, so chaotic. Okay, we have another package. Feels like Christmas morning. 
This is from our lovely friends at One Hund. This is the new shoe. Let's open it. Have you gotten these yet, babe? These are a sleigh. Oh, they're so pretty. The white, what are these called? Like Aerolux? Mm -hmm. White Aerolux tie shoe, beautiful grip, wide toe box so you can spread your toes and grip them into the ground like an eagle. Oh yeah, Aerolux barefoot trainer in dove white. So these are a sleigh. I will wear these, even though I'm not like powerlifting right now, I still wear the one hun shoes like this on my leg days because I'm not one of those girls that is going to train in my socks at the gym. That's disgusting. I don't want to do that. So I still wear, like I'll go to the gym in slides or something on a leg day and then put on like a pair of one huns, either like these or like the slippers, just so I can be like as close to the ground as possible without actually training in my socks. Because one, there's no grip in my socks if i'm doing like a squatting movement i still need some grip even if i'm not doing barbell squats and like these are just so cute i forgot what else i was gonna say these are cute i'm excited to wear these code adri for the one huns i don't know if these have dropped yet they dropped right yeah these dropped yeah these have dropped so go get yourself some because they're super cute and you shouldn't be training barefoot because that's gross don't do that this last thing so I ordered this on TikTok shop. I'm gonna surprise my boyfriend with these. Babe, look what I bought. Comfy sweatpants. Bam! That's tough. <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah. Beep! Showing them what you love. I got these on TikTok shop. Crazy. Follow me on TikTok and then you can find them. On our shop. You can link them, or I'll link them and you can find them and then we can love our boyfriends together. This weekend is just full of good eats. Let me tell you. Okay, we're gonna ignore my skin right now. I did pop some pimples. But Sunday night, I bought a New York strip because I deserve it, okay? I'm gonna finish everything that's in my fridge and then we're back on the meal plan tomorrow, okay? New York strip. The rest of this Caesar salad that I made Friday night, I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap that up. I just threw the rest of the dressing into this bowl. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have myself a little bit of a night. It's eight o'clock. Eat, do the little bit of programming that I have to do, strategize my content for this week. I'm really working to be more on top of, I want to plan stuff ahead a bit more because I am a bit sporadic with my content. I'm just like, oh, let me wake up and just see what I feel like doing today. But I do need to get a bit more organized and that will help me with my timing of everything as well. So strategize a little bit for the week. Uh, think about that. And then, yeah, get in bed and go to sleep. I may wrap this video up here actually. This is just gonna be a quick little weekend vlog. Maybe I'll take you guys through tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Love you guys, thanks for hanging out. Just a chill weekend of me back in the house after getting back from Miami, so. Love you. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs>